In this video, I'm gonna be testing out my DIY timing covers, which I made from resin in my previous video. The reason why I say I'm testing them out is because I'm unsure if this resin is gonna hold up to the heat of my engine. So the resin that I used to make these timing covers was from Stone Coat, and apparently the resin is heat resistant up to 245 degrees Celsius. So really keen to test them out. And before I go whacking it on the bike, I'm gonna install these little steel sleeves that I made from steel brake line. The reason why I want these installed is because resin is quite flexible and when I try and torque down the bolt, it's just gonna keep squishing down the resin. And when I insert these, it's gonna give the bolt something to bite onto, so I'll be able to torque my bolts down nice and tight. But before I insert those steel sleeves, I have to drill these holes out larger to allow these to fit. Don't worry, you're not gonna see those steel inserts because the bolts and washers will cover them. Another thing that I'll be installing behind the resin timing cover is this cork gasket. Now I just cut this cork gasket out of a big sheet. The reason why I'll be installing this cork gasket is because it will be a buffer between the resin and the engine and I think it might just disperse a bit of heat from going straight into the resin timing cover. It might not help at all, but I'm just gonna try this as a little preventative measure to hopefully stop this resin timing cover from melting off the bike. Anyway, let's mount it up on the bike, go for a ride and test it out. I don't wanna sacrifice my Gingy Beard Man timing cover as I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So let's take this one off and install the sacrificial rat fink timing cover. Just want to apply some Loctite to the thread and before anyone wigs out and says, whoa, 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 that's red Loctite. It's going to stay on there forever. Don't worry, it's not. I use this shit all the time on Harleys and it isn't permanent like the bottle states. So I'm able to really torque down these timing covers now because I've inserted those steel collars. So to have a bit of a theme going on with the bike, I'm going to install some Ratfink valve stem covers. Voila, Bob's your uncle. Now let's hop on the bike, go for a ride, and see if they don't melt off the side of the bike. All right, let's test out this resin timing cover. God damn it, the gate's closed. Why is it that the smallest of inconveniences irritate me the most? So I'm gonna fly out to my block where I'm building, check the progress of the build, and that's about half an hour away from where I'm living at the moment. So they'll get the engine up to operating temperature and it'll be a good test to see if the resin holds up. God, my bike's dusty. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but she's a dirty girl. Look at my dirty girl. And if you know me, this is a show bike, not a go bike. Absolute beaut day. We've had some pretty shitty weather as of late and that's really delayed the progress of our house build by like three months. So in the last video where I showed the house build, we'd only just had the slab laid. Now we've had the frame go up, we've had the brickwork completed and they've just started on the roof work. Is the timing cover still there? Yep. It's still good. It's still good. Reminds me of that Simpsons episode where Lisa sends a pig flying and Homer and Bart are chasing it down. It's just a little airborne. It's still good, it's still good. Like every ride video slash vlog that I do, you always see me heading out on this road. And it's not because it's the only road I know. It's because every time I hop on my bike and go for a ride, I'm heading out to see the progress on my block. But I do love this road. It's got some nice twisties. Anyway, I'm gonna fast forward to when I'm at my block, hop off the bike, have a look if my resin timing cover's still there. Then throw up the drone and get a few shots of my block. Oh wow. That's it. The reason I say oh wow is because they've just cleaned the top level of the bricks and you can see the color of the brick. That looks absolutely awesome. And they've rendered the bricks on the outside and painted it. Nice. All right, let's turn this thing off and see how this timing cover's holding up. 
Oh, not good. She's cracked through there. Yeah, right. Looks like it's flexing quite a bit. Oh yeah, the resin's definitely soft. Back to the drawing board. Let's see how my chain slider is going. Yeah, it's worn down a bit, but not excessive. All right, let's get back on the bike and get out of here. So as you can see, that stone coat resin doesn't hold up to prolonged heat. Yes, it might be heat resistant, but that's obviously for uh, short periods of time as opposed to being strapped on the side of the engine. And where it sort of tore away is where those bolts go into the resin on the corners, as that's where it's its weakest point. But also just touching that resin, it is extremely flexible and that's obviously because the heat's gone through it and has distorted it so back to the drawing board to source a different type of heat resin because that stuff doesn't hold up on the side of a harley davidson engine i know now not to buy more of that shit as it's not going to work but its main purpose is for like bench tops so i really was taking a gamble with buying it and trying it on the engine if you are aware of what kind of resin I could use, please drop a comment below and help a brother out. But that's going to do it for this video guys. Thanks very much for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya! Well, it didn't melt off the bike, but it sure as hell wasn't far off. I'm going to take it off the bike and just see how flexible that resin is after the heat's been applied to it. See? Told you that Loctite wasn't permanent. Well, the gasket seemed to hold up all right, and boy, are those bolts hot. And that, that is how flexible that resin is. So obviously, it doesn't hold up to heat.